Welcome to the video, uh, this is JDR Motors and today I'm going to talk you through my top 10 BMW OEM style wheels. This is my top 10, um, it's not definitive, but in the comments let me know what your top 10 is and I'll have a look. So at number 10 we have the Style 17 wheel. Now this was only available on the E36 chassis, obviously you can fit it to others, and to me this is like a really cool retro old school wheel. Um, it's quite basic but uh, it looks really good on some I'd say saloon SE spec models so you know it looks good on all E36s but um, especially if you're going for that really old old school um, kind of SE clean look you know original. Yeah it's a really clean wheel this. A few downsides um, it only came in a 15 inch so it's quite a small wheel and you have to be careful with these because I think some of the sizes were metric so that meant you would have to have metric tyres which are close to impossible to get. So next up at number 9 is the Style 5 and this is a real classic uh, M wheel. Uh, came in a lot of different sizes, a lot of different specs, came on the E30, E36, uh, some 7 series, uh, E28 5 series really nice looking wheel, quite clean, it's quite cool that the spokes sit above the lip rather than flush, that's sort of a defining factor of the wheel. It'll look good for sort of period correct BMWs, a really versatile wheel this one. Only reason it's not higher on the list is there are better wheels. At number 8 we've got the Style 23, or also known as the Contour wheel. This one's from an E36 M3, to me this is a really nice looking wheel, um, it's a bit I'd say a bit basic compared to the other E36 wheels which may or may not be on the list. These are a nice simple design wheel, um, I think there's only one ever wheel in the BMW range that looks like this. Now to me this is more of a sedan or saloon as we say in the UK wheel, that's what it came on on the M3, uh, M3 saloon and to me you can put them on coupes, a lot of people do, but I think it's, it's true home is on a saloon. These have become quite popular in recent times and prices have gone up. Uh, I wouldn't say they're the rarest wheel, but uh, they're certainly harder to find in good condition, say, than your Style 24 M3 wheels. So, down to number 7, we have the first of the bigger wheels. Uh, I'm not a fan of a massive wheel on a car, but uh, some do look quite well, and I suppose I have to get up the times. So this is the Style 127. Everyone will know it from the original E46 M3 CSL wheel. It's a, it's a big, it's a 19 inch wheel. This wheel is a, a really good aggressive looking wheel, really good for track, really good for the road. Um, only downside is the actual OEM one is 19 inches, which is quite large for uh, some of the older BMWs, harder to fit. But in a good and bad way, there are lots of copy aftermarket ones of these and you can get them in 18 inch fitment. And they look really good on E36s as well as E46s. So the Style 127 is, comes in a staggered setup. It's 8.5J at the front and 9.5J at the back. And to me, it's probably the ultimate OEM E46 wheel. So yeah, good overall good wheel, just downside is the fitment of it isn't as good for across the older generation of BMWs. So next, at number 6, we've got the Style 42. Now this isn't actually off an M3 or anything, it's just a OEM sporty wheel from BMW came on the E36 and E46 and probably the Z3 as well, Z3. Uh, this is a slightly more modern version of the Style 5 to me. Um, you have the spokes in flush of the lip, that's the key difference. Um, these are 16 inch wheels so fit pretty much everything. Good sort of street or road wheel, you know, it'll fit a lot of cars. Pretty universal, looks good on tourings, coupes, convertibles, saloons. Um, downside, if you're looking to put some big tyres like track tyres, maybe 16 is a bit too small. So at number 5 we've got another E36 special, uh, there's a bit of a theme here, E36 is on my favourite BMW platform, uh, we've got the Style 24. One of the best wheels I think for the M3s that they've done, comes in 17 inch, staggered, so 7.5J at the front, 8.5J at the rear, quite lightweight, I think this is the lightest um, E36 M3 wheel that you could get. Uh, obviously it's stagger setup so the rears weigh a bit more than the fronts. You get different finishes on these wheels so some people like the polished look, I prefer the sort of flatter kind of silver from factory 
and lot any downsides to this wheel, there are a lot of fakes. Um, you can normally tell if it's a fake because it'll just say motorsport on it. The early style 24s had no lettering and then the I think the later ones would say BMW Motorsport. Overall really nice wheel, fits over a lot of brakes, good for track, good for the street. Uh, downside, like I said, there's a few copies of them about and I guess it's not the rarest wheel. Now at number four is probably the most versatile and looks good on anything uh, wheel BMW have ever made and that's the Style 32. Uh, this came in a heap of different sizes and pretty much came on, could be optioned on any BMW from 3 Series E36 in the 90s to all the way to the E90 3 Series and the E60 uh, 5 Series. This to me just just looks the part on any car, it doesn't matter if it's for track or if it's for road. Quite a minimalistic wheel as in there's not much metal on the spokes, you know, a lot of gap compared to the other uh, wheels we've looked at like the Contour. Most uh, diverse wheel because it fits on everything. Also you have different fitments on E39s, the centre boy is slightly different to the rest of BMW, but everything else, great looking wheel, just something right about it. Of all the BMW wheels this one can look good in different colours. Um, I'm normally really against painting them like, sil you know, not silver, but I've seen quite a few of these and if it goes with the paintwork of the car it can look pretty good. I'm struggling to find a downside with these wheels. Um, you could say they're overdone a bit. Proper BMW wheel is one. So at number three we have the Style 37 also known as the M Parallel wheel. Um, to me this is the ultimate wheel for the E39 5 series. Um, it's a nice staggered setup so you've got quite a deep dish on the rear. Uh, I'm a bit biased again as I had a set of these on my, in 18 inches on my E39 Touring. Um, to me, adds a really good stance to any car, you know, nice and wide on the rear. These ones do look best polished. As you can tell from this video, I'm not normally for polishing, but because it's got such a deep uh, barrel or lip, um, polishes up really well. As before, E39 fitment can be a bit awkward, but these did also come on the E38 uh, 7 Series and people, you know, mess around with them on other cars. Um, it's not as like universal as, any, as a Style 32, but on the right car it can pull it off well. I've seen quite a few E36s with them on. To me it's like a a wheel better suited for your bigger cars, like your, your 5 Series, your 7 Series, um, so more the saloon estate look. Getting closer to the end now. At number two is the Style 21, or the Throwing Star. Really, really rare wheel today as well. Probably the most expensive wheel on a, on this list, just because of, it wasn't on that many cars. It came on the 8 series of the day, so the one you remember those white ones and black ones look quite 80s. Yes, yeah, so it came on the E31 8 series, looks, looks spectacular. Also came on the E32 7 series. Now what's different about this wheel is it actually looks really good on uh, the cars it wasn't meant for, so like I say again, I'll show you some pictures on an E36, it can look really good, depending on the car, um, definitely a coupe wheel. Uh, as you can tell, it's, it looked best on the 8 series and that was a coupe, so really nice. Like all the best BMW style wheels, this is a 17 inch. Um, the offset's a bit, I can't remember the exact number, I think it's 20. Uh, can make it a bit harder to fit on some cars, but there's ways around it. Yeah, great looking wheel uh, does still as well. Um, I know that's the main point of wheels, but something like a Style 32 looks quite good does still. But something this makes it looks like the car's moving. Um, really fluid wheel, I'd say. Only downside to me is a bit rare and expensive, but some people look at that as a good thing. Okay, well done if you stuck with me this far. Um, number one, again I'm biased and to show you how biased I am, this is the one. Style, Style 22. Yeah the Style 22 is my all-time favourite. Um, if you didn't know it's from an E36 3 Series, 
uh, the M3 on the 92 to 95, so the early cars. What's cool about the Star 22 is from factory it came with a square setup rather than staggered. So this is when they weren't staggered. So, you know, there's a bit more chance of oversteer, um, not as safe as a stagger setup. That's why uh, they sell staggered wheels, is to rather than oversteer, to have understeer. So having a square setup is pretty cool for me, it shows you the racing history. Um, so the spec of this Star 22 is they came in 7.5J squared, it's a 17 inch wheel, and to go with that square setup, they had 235 40 17 uh, tyres from factory. That's a really common size when people run M3s and 3 to 8 E36s for track. It's lightweight, it's not the lightest compared to the Star 24, but it's, it's very close. Um, the design, I just, I like the BMW Motorsport kind of engraved in, that's really cool. So these are also known as the DS1s, like double spoke one or sunflower. Now there are two different types of sunflower. So this is the, the Style 22 is the early sunflower wheel. They had a DS2, but you could just say it's the second, the Mark II sunflower. Now to me, these are really ugly. It didn't even make my list. Um, these came on 96 to about 98 uh, coupes. Yeah, something about them just don't like. Uh, it, it's subtle, but the way they look is completely different. Um, yeah, so I, I like the Star 22 because it's like a, a square racy setup from factory. They're quite rare as well. They're not stupidly expensive compared to the throwing stars, but in the E36 world, they're really sought after and in good condition, they're quite hard to find. Look, and these actually, to be fair to them, look good on tourings, coupes, uh, convertibles and saloons, everything. Well, thank you for watching this uh, quick video. Um, let me know in the comments your top 10 wheels. Um, these are all OEM. I didn't consider any of the AC Schnitzer or Alpina wheels. I think they're awesome wheels in themselves, but I just wanted to stick to BMW. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, welcome if you're new. Give me a like and uh, let me know in the comments.